Greetings, humans. We are Team HP9 Y. Today we are here because we have a problem to solve. When we are building our robot, we constantly run out of material. Therefore, we have to have our parents buy more. Because of this, we have to be smart in our robot design and to increase building efficiency. We realize this is not only an issue in robotics, but also an issue in the real world, except it will be way more devastating in terms of cost and environment. Fortunately for us, there are many ways to reduce waste. These include to plan before you build, be responsible with your materials, and to also recycle more. The most creative solution is to try out new building methods. In this video, we will explore just that. Scientists, inventors, architects, and artists have long discovered that the most creative solutions often come from our surroundings. Nature, night vision goggles from cat eyes, planes from birds, flippers from duck feet, sonars from bats, and many more. These are just a few examples of inventions inspired by nature. When talking about structures, we noticed that tessellations kept on appearing in structural designs. We did some more research and saw that there are many examples of tessellations in nature. They appear in honeycombs, turtle shells, and armadillo shells, which contribute to their strength. Solid blocks are way better at distributing force because they have many more pressure points. But if you have a tessellation with a high density, you can have many pressure points as well using fewer materials. A good example of this in architecture is the truss. It is a tessellation that is a bunch of triangles packed together in a figure that is found in many buildings to increase strength using fewer materials. Because of this, we will use tessellation structures to find a new building method. We are currently at Caution Tape Headquarters, where, where we will be conducting an experiment to find out which tessellation structures are the strongest and can be used to potentially replace solid building materials. We have 3D printed different structural tessellation patterns, which have the same weight using the same material, with the only difference being the pattern type. We have also printed a hollow, a hollow structure for comparison. Now we will be using a vice press to press each of the 3D printed structures to see how much pressure each of the structures can take. Let's start with the hollow one. That can take the most amount of pressure is the strongest, so in our case, the grid pattern is the strongest. Wow, that was cool. Next time, we should try more ideas to make building more efficient. This way, we could become positive engineers, creating a positive environment around building. We, we are, are Team A3 the strongest tessellation of all. No, still loud. Did you stop? Nathan, come back. Bruh. Wow, that was cool. Now give me some ideas to try next time. <laughs> <laughs>